This video contains or may contain spoilers for Hollow Knight. In Hollow Knight, mysterious plants called Whispering Roots can be found throughout the kingdom of Hallownest. These plants contain essence, which can be extracted from them to be absorbed by the dream nail, after which the focused thoughts that brought the roots into being are revealed. In this video, I'll be looking into the dialogue of each whispering root and what it likely means. The whispering root in the ancestral mound reads, soul attuned, spiral focus, and shunned power. All of these allude to the snail shamans and their ability to manipulate soul. They were able to use it to create spells, as we see in the game when acquiring the vengeful spirit, which could be considered to be a form of focusing. Spiral likely refers to the shape of the snail's shells. Other bugs were probably afraid of the shaman's power, hence why it's described as being shunned. The City of Tears Whispering Root says, Promised plenty, souls to serve, and soul twisted. This root is found not far from the soul sanctum. It's clear that a lot of the soul that the Sanctum scholars used in their experiments came from living bugs, as the bodies of those once living bugs are all over the Sanctum. Much of the wealth in Hallow Nest was concentrated among the city dwellers, so bugs from less wealthy places were probably invited to be part of the scholars' experiments with soul and would receive a significant amount of geo in return. That's obviously not what happened though, hence the twisted part. The Crystal Peak root reads, Light Refracted and Energy Contained. This expands on what we already know about the crystals of Crystal Peak, that they contain some kind of energy in the form of beams of light. The way this dialogue is worded implies that this power is activated specifically when existing light shines on the crystal and is then refracted to create the laser-like beams that we can see. From the deep nest whispering root, we get Nest Alive, Sleeping Queen, and Beast. Sleeping Queen obviously refers to Hera going into her eternal sleep to become a dreamer and seal on the vessel. Her title as a dreamer is The Beast, which is probably what the third line is about. Nest Alive is likely a nod to the fact that there are a large number of living creatures in Deep Nest, even though many of them have now become infected. The Forgotten Crossroads has a whispering root whose dialogue reads, Twisting paths, traveling masses, and vessel sealed. The first two lines describe how the crossroads were full of large crowds of bugs moving between different parts of the kingdom. The third line is obviously about the Hollow Knight, and this root is located near the Temple of the Black Egg where the Hollow Knight is sealed. Interestingly, the word sealed is capitalized here. That quality suggests that this particular seal is a special one made specifically for this purpose. A whispering root in the room between Fog Canyon and the Fungal Waste says, Misted Caverns, Noxious Spores, and Teacher. This one's pretty simple. The first two lines are about each of the areas connected by the room in which this root is found, and Teacher refers to Monomon, whose archives are located in Fog Canyon, as well as the sleeping bug herself. There's another whispering root in Fungal Wastes, this one above the Mantis Village. It reads, Proud Warriors and Honor Bound. It's clear that the mantises are warriors and proud of being from their tribe, 
and the second line seems to suggest that all mantises are seen as obligated to serve their tribe as part of their own honor. The whispering root in Green Path reads, Green kin lost, paths overgrown, and dream forgotten. As I explained in a previous video, these lines are about the Greenkin tribe no longer feeling connected to their creator, Un. The hive's whispering root reads, Hardened tribe and light familiar. Light is most likely the infection. It would be familiar to the bees because they once operated under a similar hive mind to the one that the infection enforces upon bugs. The center of this hive mind was the hive's queen, Vespa. Once she died, the bees probably didn't know what to do without their queen to guide them, so the infection occupied the role that she once did. The Howling Cliff's whispering root reads, Wasteland and Bugs Reduced. These lines are about the fact that bugs who wander out into the wastelands beyond the kingdom, which start at the end of the Howling Cliffs where this root is located, will end up losing the mind given to them by the kingdom and be reduced to instinct alone. The whispering root in the area connecting the City of Tears, Royal Waterways, and Ancient Basin reads, Kingdom Above, Palace Below, and Servant's Path. The first two lines are simple. The White Palace was located in the Ancient Basin, which itself is located below most of the kingdom. This particular room appears to be a servant's path to the palace, but it has collapsed into disrepair after the fall of Hallownest, possibly because it wasn't well built in the first place. A whispering root in the resting grounds reads, Dead remembered, penitent moth, and dreams revered. Much of the resting ground's lore is centered around the idea of making sure that the dead are remembered so that they are never truly gone. Penitent Moth is about the seer and her work tending to the resting grounds, which she views as repentance for her tribe having forgotten their creator, the Radiance. Since the moths were born from her light, they revere the power of dreams, which are made of essence similar to the Radiance's own light. The Spirit's Glade has a whispering root reading, Precious Memories and Honored Souls. The bugs buried in the Spirit's Glade seem to have been particularly significant to be buried in this dedicated space. Honored souls hints that spirits may actually be the souls of the dead rather than mere projections. The whispering root in the Queen's Garden says, Leaves in splendor and pale root. The latter is about the White Lady, who is described as both a pale being and a root. The first line likely refers to her use of the gardens as a personal retreat. Finally, the whispering root in Kingdom's Edge reads, Sacred Grave, Ashen Ground, and Kingdom's Birth. All of these lines are about the historic arrival of the worm in the land that is now Kingdom's Edge, where it then shed its shell and transformed into the Pale King who founded the Kingdom of Hallownest. The ash found along the ground and floating in the air is actually leftover molt from the worm's transformation. The land is called a grave because the worm shedding its shell is symbolically seen as a sort of death. So what do you think? Do you agree with my interpretations? Let me know in the comments! Thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to give it a like, share it, check out my other Hollow Knight videos, and subscribe to my channel for more. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.